Hi guys. I hope you guys are all doing well. Um, I want to talk to you about the Turkish getup and how we can practice the Turkish getup at home. So this is a shoe. Any shoe will do. I happen to have a fancy Finnegan shoe. Um, but the key to this is to keep your hand open. So you don't want to hold on to the shoe. We're basically using the shoe as a balance measure. So my, my hand is totally open holding onto the shoe, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay down and my arm is gonna be straight holding the shoe. My, uh, my knee is bent on the same side as the shoe, okay? My hand is planted, my foot is extended, okay? My shoe is balanced on top of my hand. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rock onto my elbow, keeping that shoe arm overhead. If I start going here, I'm gonna lose the shoe, right? So I have to keep it balanced here. I'm on my elbow. I'm gonna press up onto my hand. I'm gonna extend my hips into a full bridge. I'm gonna kick through back onto my knee. I'm gonna stand up. I am a full lunge. My shin is vertical. My leg is behind me. I'm gonna step up to full extension. My arm's still over my head, even though you can't see me and my head's cut off. I'm gonna come back down onto my knee. Again, vertical shin. I'm gonna come back onto my hand, plant it right where it was, my arm still overhead. I'm gonna kick through and do a high lunge. I'm gonna lower my hips. I'm gonna lower my elbow and I'm gonna lay back down, okay? Then I'm gonna switch sides. I'm gonna move my shoe into my left hand, bend my left leg, straighten my right leg. Again, my hand is open, the shoe is balanced. I'm gonna rock onto my elbow, okay? I'm not gonna change the position of my hand. I'm gonna press into my hand. I'm gonna press into a high bridge, kick through onto my knee, up, up. Come back down onto my knee, vertical shin, plant my hand, kick through into a high bridge, lower my hips, lower my elbow, and come down. Turkish get